Two centuries later, a little woman struggles through Maryland's Chesapeake Bay forests, followed by escaping slaves. One underground railroad Harriet Tubman mystery remains. Maryland archaeologists solved Harriet Tubman's mystery. Maryland archaeologists answered that mystery. Hello everyone. In this video, we bring you groundbreaking news from Maryland, where a team of dedicated experts has triumphantly unraveled an enduring enigma surrounding the legendary Harriet Tubman. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. Julie Shablitsky has been exploring a beautiful U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Reserve since 2020 and found something amazing under the marsh. What did her Earth colleagues find at the Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge? And what does it reveal about one of America's most famous abolitionists? Tubman's role in history has been taught in colleges and schools, but one aspect of her story has remained curiously obscured. By delving into the marshy forests of Tubman's home county, Shiblitsky has managed to uncover more of the American heroine's past, and what she's discovered provides a fascinating insight into the woman who freed scores of slaves. At last, the truth about the former slave's early years has been revealed. Harriet was born into slavery to Ben Ross, an illiterate railroad conductor, and Rita Tubman. At six years old, she was sent to work in a stranger's home. Got older Tubman, who was barely five feet tall, learned to break flax to weave linen trapping and drive oxen to move logs from her father. After her father was freed and handed gorgeous land, she became unexpectedly strong. She resided in his cabin and worked the property. UC Tubman helped dozens of slaves escape to the north. Her father taught her to negotiate creeks, rivers, and marshes for her whiskey business. Historians have never known at 22. Tubman married and left her father's home, but she was still enslaved. In 1849, she learned of a plot to sell her to another family. Harriet fled Maryland while slavery was legal. Harriet navigated Maryland's woods with her father's help. Moss grows in the north. Tubman used her survival abilities to sneak north, but when she reached Philadelphia and freedom, she did not settle down. She returned to help southern slaves for 10 years. Historians say she freed 70 people, including her brothers, parents, and friends. Tubman UC was part of the Underground Railroad, a mid-19th century network of safe houses and escape routes that helped thousands of slaves escape to free states. Historians say 100,000 convicts were rescued this way in Canada or elsewhere. Many compassionate friends helped with this delicate procedure, many of whom remain unsung heroes. Her beneficiaries call her Moses. The Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture displays Tubman's legendary artifacts, including her shawl. They reveal a woman who changed America. Harriet Tubman National Historic Park includes her senior year residence in Auburn, New York, and one in Maryland. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service bought the land in 2020 to replace Lone Star habitats in the area. When the new manager, Marsha Pradines, got there she was interested in the site's interesting history. So she contacted Maryland archaeologist Julie Shablitsky. A plan began to take shape, but where to even begin looking for Harriet's father Ben Ross's cabin? At first, Shablitsky and her team looked at historical records. Shablitsky told the Washington Post in April 2021, I'm like, where is this place? Where is this place? Then with little else to go on, the archaeologist decided to use her metal detector in a new location. And it was there that the mystery finally began to unravel. As Shablitsky moved her device over the surface of an old road, it let out a telltale sound. Finally, she was in luck. After recovering a couple of small artifacts, she hit the jackpot. An old coin covered in according to accounts. Various ceramic fragments with patterns let scientists date them. The shards may be from Ben's cabin in the 1820s to 1840s. Shablitsky told the Washington Post, That's when we had our moment and recognized it couldn't be anywhere else. The team found Tubman's childhood cabin, but how could they be confident of the discovery? Shablitsky stated that gathering many relics shows we have something. Officials announced their discovery during a news conference on April 20, 2021, thrilling historians. Larson told the Washington Post that Tubman's cabin was a caring, close-knit community where nature provided her education. Larson said her father's years shaped Harry Tubman. Shablitsky said the discovery revealed a vital part of her story. Larson told the NYT about the discovery's importance. She said this gives insight into a time and place in Tubman's life. We know very little about the community that really created this woman, and we can't fully understand her until we understand the place she came from. As the story of the discovery spread, more facts emerged about the years Tubman spent at the cabin. 
According to the New York Times, it wasn't just Harriet's father that taught her vital survival skills while living in the woods. They taught her to read the stars and advised her about safe and risky regions beyond the eastern shore years later. In recent years, Tubman's fame has grown despite her heroism. Larson said, Since I started investigating her in the 90s, she's grown more and more intriguing to people with very few resources. She was able to do amazing things, so what will happen to the cabin after she's gone? After Shablitsky and her crew finish excavating, the site will become part of the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Byway, a tourist attraction. This 125-mile self-drive tour from Eastern Maryland to Philadelphia visits over 30 sites from the legendary abolitionist's life. Officials aim to add more history by including her father's cabin or its site. Shablitsky and her crew expect to unearth more relics from Tubman's father's time in the woods and items from Ben Ross's life, according to the New York Times. In April 2021, CNN reported that descendants of Tubman were unable to visit the site, which is closed to the public to protect it. Harriet's great-great-great-grandest Tina Wyatt said seeing this in person has brought Tubman's relatives closer to their renowned ancestor. It's also nice that she and he left it mostly intact, so we can see and hear what they did. This relationship should last. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comment section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.